Tom Smith. What the fuck? Is your name Tom Smith? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I've had my eye on you for quite a while. <laughs> well, <laughs> um... Seems you think you don't need to follow the rules, Mr Smith. No, it's not... No, look, did Lenny know... Did Lenny know Lex sent you around for the pool money or something? Don't <gasps> turn around! Why not? Because I don't want you to see my face. But I can see in the mirror, love. Not a bad-looking bit of gear. Well, just... I don't want you to know my name, then. What? Christy? What? How do you know my name? It's on your name tag, sweetheart. You're the girl from behind the counter, aren't you? Now, what the hell's all this about? You have five outstanding DVDs overdue, Mr Smith, plus an excessive overdue DVD fine. What's that? Oh, it's a monetary penalty that you have to pay for not returning your DVDs on time. No, 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 you ditzy broad. How much is it, Kirsty? <laughs> The name's Christy, OK? Smart guy. And at the moment, your fine stands at $27.26. You're holding a freaking gun to my head for 30 bloody dollars? I didn't stutter, Mr Smith. I said $27.26. Come on, Kathy, cut me a break. I mean, come on. It's Christy. And you want a break, eh? Just like you broke the terms and conditions on your policy with video video? You should have read the fine print, Mr Smith. What fine print? Oh, it's the area of writing underneath where you sign your name, Mr Smith. What? The dotted line? The dotted line, as you so eloquently put it, is the fine print, Mr Smith. Let me have a look here. Uh, OK. Uh, I do solemnly swear to bring back all my DVD rentals on time and within the allotted time frame given, without fail, or I agree that Video Video has the right to hunt me down and have me shot, end quote. You signed it, Mr Smith. There's nothing I can do about the situation now. Listen, Katie, I mean, come on, it's only... It's only a few dollars and a couple of bloody DVDs. There's no reason to kill me. Oh, it's Christy! Now, you borrowed five DVDs, Mr Smith. I've got them right here. OK. Guns N' Roses video clips. That was a good one. The Breakfast Club. Oh, that was all right. Broken Arrow. Oh, Travolta was great in that one. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I couldn't work that one out. Oh, and at least you had the taste to rent a West and did... Oh, wait. It was Broke Back Mountain. Got some unresolved issues there, Mr Smith? <sighs> look, no. I mean, look, Heath Ledger looks great with his shirt on and the whole, you know, him and Jake Gyllenhaal always... No, look, I didn't even watch it. I... Well, I did, but... No, look, it's from... from... <laughs> It was my flatmate. Oh, yeah, swear. yeah, yeah. That's what they all say, Mr Smith. Now, I've been watching you for a while, and I know that you can run around town spending money on whatever you like, but you obviously can't find the time in your thrilling life to pop into video video and return your DVDs on time. What? Saved by the bell. Mr Smith. Speak. Oh, hi, Mum. No, I'm just at work. Um, can this wait? Yeah. Go with the yellow balloons. The ones that have got Salesman of the Year written on them. Yeah, yeah. He did what? Tell him to stop picking at it. I'm serious. Look, look, just, just tell Dad I'm... Look, I know it's itchy and it's hard when you've got a rash down there and everything, but just tell them to look on the bright side of life. They have steroid creams and everything for that sort of thing now. Just just tell Dad to stop picking at it. <coughs> OK, look, I've got to go. I have to go. OK. OK, love you. Love you. Love you, bye. <sighs> now, where were we? Well, I don't think you were about to kill me. I'm pretty sure you mentioned something about a dinner and drink. Not if you were the last man on earth. So there's a chance then? Hasta la vista, Mr oh, no. Smith. Come on. Come on. Out of all the bloody action movies that you would have seen and you have to go with a stupid Arnold Schwarzenegger line, you might as well get in the chopper. I am the governor. Something like that. I mean, Jet Li, Jason oh, Statham. God. <laughs> Shut up. It's a bit rich coming from you, isn't it? Mister, I've hired Twilight 13 times this year. Well... So tell me, Mr Smith, what are you, hmm? Team Jacob or Team Edward? Hmm? Yeah? What? Huh? Team Edward. Now listen, you've got two choices. Number one, you return the DVDs to me right now and pay up. 
Or, number two, I fill your head full of lead, which by the looks of it would be quite a vast improvement. We're at a crossroads, Mr Smith. What? The whole two choices thing. We're at a crossroads, you idiot. No, no, no. At a crossroads, you've got three choices. You go left, you go right, or you go straight ahead. I think the particular intersection you're referencing, my dear, is a T-junction. What the hell are you on about? A T-junction. You go left, you go right. Two choices. What you're talking about is a crossroads. That's three choices. That's the third choice. Basic bloody road rules, my dear. Typical female driver. Should have just said we're at a bloody roundabout. <laughs>